call it cancer prevention, the next generation. Researchers at OSU's College of Education and Human Ecology are running some high-tech tests at COSI to see if fitness can help some women avoid the disease. Sherry Kirk begins her exam routinely. After she's measured, she steps on a scale. But then things change. She slips into what looks like an alien spaceship or a giant egg. It's called the bod pod. Dr. Carmen Swain, director of OSU's Health and Exercise Science, says it's the gold standard for measuring body composition. It tells us the percentage fat and percentage lean mass a person has. And from this information, also combined with how physically active, we can give a prediction of the amount of calories a person should burn each day. I do not like to exercise. I do not like to sweat. But this study isn't about weight control. It's about cancer prevention. Swain and her colleagues want to know if showing the benefits of exercise to women like Sherry with family histories of breast, endometrial, and colon cancer is better than simply letting them read about it. We know that if we can make women physically active, that their likelihood of having disease goes down. There's been many studies that show this relationship. So what we're trying to do is change attitude, change behavior. At the COSI Labs in Life, they also test for strength and flexibility, then share the results with participants. Sherry has three young children and wants to see them grow up. So she's here for them. This study is important because it's hopefully the numbers will um, help me um, be more active, motivate me to be more active. Andrea Camburn, 10 TV News. Researchers are still looking for women who'd like to join that study. They also need men for a similar study. We will link you to the information at 10tv.com slash female focus.